One of the most common issues or questions I get asked all the time is, you know, especially in SEO as well, what can I do to get my rankings? What can I do to get better rankings in the three pack and get in organic and get more leads? And when I look at most of your websites, you don't even have the basics done, like internal linking, H1 headers, etc. And so for me, what I'm gonna tell you to do is y'all need to just start with the basics. Learn to crawl before you start trying to run and go do, you know, CTR manipulation or even beginning to look for some hack, you know? So I think that's what we're gonna cover in today's video is just the basics, right? Bam! My name is William. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification because you don't want to miss all the golden nuggets on this channel. We talk about everything from local SEO to getting your business mindset right. Maybe you're just getting started out wanting to know how to even get your first client and I'm going to teach you as well how to do that. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is a local wedding photographer. They're located in San Francisco. I'm just going to give a small, if you will, mini audit, right? We can also break down into some other things, but I want to cover the basics on this one, right? First off, I'm a real stickler for sticky headers. I want this menu bar to follow your clients everywhere they go. When I scroll, it disappears. Most people that are looking at a website, you almost have to treat them like they're idiots. <laughs> because what's going to happen, they're going to come down here and they're going to go, oh, I want to get this package right here, right? Or maybe they want more information about it, but I don't know how to contact you because I'm down here and I don't see no phone number or nothing, right? So first things first, I want this to be a sticky menu that follows me. Number two, I like your social icons and stuff up here, but I think it'd be better used as an area or put additionally aside to it, maybe a button that says, call us, book us, inquiry, something that you're giving away. In other words, you want a free quote, something that is of value to people that are looking for a wedding photographer, or maybe planning a wedding. Maybe you should give away a free ebook that says something along the lines of the top 10 things to avoid when planning a wedding or how to save money when planning a wedding. Because as you know, weddings are very expensive. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and keep going. I like the pictures. They're very pretty. Let's look at your text. You got a lot of text. I don't really like a lot of your headers. Headers being this area right here nothing really pops out it's just like you took a bunch of text and flopped it on the website right your pictures are beautiful right and i want the rest of the website to flow together and it just does it man your text and your headers are just like someone puked the you know the words on there they like put no thought into it then you got a form at the very bottom of the page and here's another big boo-boo. So you got two GMBs, right? For some reason, you got City Hall here and you got your wedding photographer here. What you're going to do when you do that is you're going to confuse Google. What? What the? F you pretty much have to spoon feed Google. Think of it this way. I want to be able to take my business information, my main keywords that I'm trying to focus on, in your case, wedding photographer plus your main city. And I want to spoon feed Google that information. I don't want to confuse them, right? San Francisco City Hall wedding photographer. I understand why you're putting the GMB down there, but that's still going to confuse the shit out of Google. All right, now let's look at your headers. All right, that's good. You got one header. Great, 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 great. Nope, you got two headers. How many we got? Yep, two headers. Got one up here, one down here. You only want one header, one H1 per 
page. One H1 per page. You only want one GMB per page. The other thing I don't see at all on here, except at the very bottom, is you have your GMB way at the bottom, right? But you don't have any of your reviews embedded on your home page. That's a big no-no, right? We want that embedded on the home page. Now, if we go over to, and I know this is the way most photographers are, it's just about the pictures for them on most of these pages. It's not gonna be about, if you will, the text. Here's your SV pro proposals. Yeah, San Francisco proposals. Now, if we look at your URL structure for this page, it's San Francisco proposals. It literally says IQ photo forward slash proposal. Doesn't even have your keyword in there, right? If we go to engagements, right? It's the same thing. On engagements, your URL structure, you got that, that one's good. But this URL structure, you should be doing that across every single page. In other words, if we're talking about weddings or whatever we're talking about, that URL structure should be followed. You got a lot of pages, right? So let's see, I mean, but overall, if I look at them, like this is a bass proposal, you have very little text. Now let's go to your images and see what your images are like. So you have no titles or alt titles on any of these images, all right? So those are a couple of things I would fix from the get-go. Personally, I would want a better site in which it flows better, looks more professional, right? Because right now what you have is your images look great, right? Your images are looking great and everything else, but it, overall, if you go to the actual website, it looks like, especially if I come here, it's like the text was just thrown on the website without any thought, without being laid out, right? And then you have, you know, multiple issues you need to fix with that. Now let's go over here and let's just look at page speed, just for example. And let's look at your page speed. So your page speed is Google going to tell you, for example, is your website going fast? Is it easy accessible? Is it mobile friendly? Is it all of these things that we look as Google is important for rankings? I don't care what anybody tells you. If your website is slow, Google is going to not just, it's not going to, it's going to filter it. It's not going to say, oh, I'm not going to rank you, but it is going to filter it and it's going to push faster sites ahead of yours, okay? Ah! So let's go ahead and look at that. And make sure you pass or not pass, you're not passing. This is not a passing score, it's not a score to be proud of, I'd wanna fix that. <coughs> I could fix that easily with a better website. So that's the first thing I would do is look at a better website, more laid out, and um, especially for what you're wanting. Let's see what you're, yeah, your desktop is no better either. It's just as bad, if not worse. Oh my God. So those are the things I would look at. Now, if we go over to your GMB, just real quick, let's look at your reviews. So your reviews, you're responding to them very simply like, thank you, Luis. Thank you, it was a pleasure. You need to do like a paragraph of text when you're responding. Another cool thing is whenever you're looking at this right here, you see the keywords that they're saying is important to them in their reviews. You need to take those keywords and somehow put them into the text of your website. Let's see if you're posting on your GMB as well. And how often? January 20th, January 17th. All right, good. You're posting, but not posting enough. Um, I also don't do my post just like this. This is just an image and saying it's a special day for these two. They're nothing but smiles. Happy proposal day. I have a very good way of way I structure my post. I do the post. I have the H1 plus the city I'm in on top of it, a paragraph of text. And then I have a learn more that links over to that page I'm trying to promote. I also put my phone number and I put my address inside of my GMB posts. Let's see. What else we got going on here? Okay, but besides that, those are the things I would look at personally and get those things taken care of. Get a new website, get your website better structured and make it mirror your Google My Business listing. Mirroring essentially means 
if you have a page on this, you should also have a page or a service listed and a product listed on your GMB. Your GMB should reflect your website, and right now yours is not. So for example, if I was to go back to yours and look at your services or look at your products, right? Do you even have any? Nope, nothing. No products listed, you got photos, but no products. And you may be saying, well, I, William, I ain't got no products. Yes, you do. All these services, every last one of them are products, okay? And then you can fill out your GMB and take that information from your website and make it mirror in the GMB as well, and then internally link them, okay? And if you're not doing them as well, you should also be doing YouTube videos, social videos, doing those on your posts, social media posts, Instagram posts, etc., Instagram reels, and then internally linking them from YouTube into your website, etc. So hopefully this video helped you. If you would like for me to do a local mini SEO audit for you, make sure to comment below. Say, hey, William, will you do a local SEO audit for me? I'll reach out to you and I'll give you my personal address. That way you can do that. I appreciate you guys. Be blessed and have a great day. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitch and they cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think